leave my family at home and not be there for them when they have trouble. Hello guys, Brian Purcell here on YouTube, video vlog. I'm with guys, if you catch nothing mom. else out of the JJ Weeks band tonight, I want you to catch this. For four Sundays in a row, before the, all this stuff began to happen in my life, for four Sundays in a row, there was a gentleman who stood about 6'4", weighed 230 pounds, and he was an ex-NFL football player, and he was real quiet spoken. So when he was talking to you, you knew he meant what he was saying. He walked over to me that first Sunday, and he grabbed me on my shoulder as I stood down below the stage. He grabbed me by my shoulder, and I turned around, and he looked at me, and he said, Man, I was praying this week. And God told me to tell you that what's inside of you is bigger than this church. And if I have any more Pentecostal oh, people in the house, you'll know that a lot of people band. have words for you. What? I'll tell you, hey, I believe God told me to wow. tell you this. I, I thank you, but I want to check this it with the word, right? This is a picture right? me and my mom got taken together. It's a nice picture. That's Second man, Sunday, he walked uh, over to me and he said, Hey man, I was praying again this week and God told me it's to tell you what's what inside of you. It's bigger than this church. Third Sunday, he walked over to me and he forcefully hey, turned me around radio. and he said, You need to hear <laughs> what I'm saying because God's told me again this week that what's inside of you is bigger than this church. I'm just let you guys enjoy and the fourth the Sunday, he walked over to me and he grabbed me by my shoulder, pulled me around, and he was the most forceful thing I've ever heard. He said, You need to listen to what I'm saying. God told me to tell you what's inside of you is bigger than this church. And what makes that such a big deal, y'all? So the next words I prayed as my feet hit the ground outside that bus, I prayed, God, I quit. I can't do this anymore. I'll focus on the church music and I'll make it great. As I began to walk up that driveway, a vision just as clear as I'm looking at you of that dude came up in my driveway and he pointed his finger at me and he said, what's inside of you is bigger than that church. See, I'm thankful to know the God that we serve knew what I was going to pray a month before I ever prayed. He knew the night that my world was going to be falling apart and I wanted to quit. He knew it and he was preparing me for that storm. That's the kind of God we serve. I walked into the house trying not to wake my wife because waking my wife in the middle of the night is like waking a demon. <laughs> And husband, you better not look at your wife right now. That'd be a bad thing. <laughs> I laid down in the bed and I lifted both hands in the air as tears soaked my pillow. And I prayed, God, I don't want to hear from you tonight. I don't want to hear Proverbs to tell me what wise people do. God, I don't want to hear Revelation to tell me what the end of time looks like. God, I don't want to hear from you tonight. I need to hear from me tonight. If I've ever needed it before, I need to know that you're here. I said, speak to me. And as I grabbed my favorite Bible that God spoke to me the most through, I said, open it up where it lets me know you're here. And I opened it up and it fell to a verse, listen, that I'd heard thousands of times growing up in church. But this night, it changed my life. I simply said this, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And it let me know that I wasn't walking that road by myself. And that I knew that if the King of Kings is walking beside me, the Bible says, what can come against me? What can hinder me? What can fail me? Nothing because he's walking with me. And as I rolled over with that peace that passes all understanding that I can't even come close to explaining tonight words to this next song begin to come to my head. This is a song called Sunrise. Woo! I'm feeling like I'm close to the end And it's all coming around again Who will catch me when I fall? I can do this on my own. And time is quickly passing me by. Something in my heart don't feel right. When did this darkness fall? When did I begin to crawl? Will I ever see the I need a name 